Hey, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. It's another wonderful Saturday morning. It's about 7.30 and I am getting ready to go to the salon. I kind of had like a weird week and last night was rough. I was really going through it. So I'm actually really looking forward to getting out of the apartment and socializing with people and just getting my mind off of things. And today should be a good day. Now let's rephrase. It is going to be a good day. I have two clients today, both of which I've done their hair before and I'm not double booked today. And my first client I'm extra excited for because we are going to be continuing and hopefully finishing the process of her color correction, getting her to her goal. I had shared her hair several vlogs ago. I'll show you when I get to the salon what her hair looks like now and I'll insert a clip of what it looked like when we started, but she has a lot of gray in the front of her hair and she had been using permanent color, box color, in like a medium brown shade to cover over her roots, but she is tired of doing that, so she wanted to transition to blonde so that she could do highlights and like gray blending instead so it could be a little bit more low maintenance. And I've been loving just wearing my hair air dried. I can't even tell you the last time I blew it out or put any heat on it. Ever since I got this keratin treatment, it has just been life changing. Oh, I wanted to show you guys too. I just got this new deodorant, not sponsored at all. Um, fully paid for this with my own money. I actually got an Instagram ad and I was like, hmm, I am intrigued. I've been trying to switch over to natural deodorant. I was using Native for a long time and I do really like that, but I don't know, I feel like I don't know if like my body chemistry has changed or what, but I feel like lately I just smell bad. <laughs> and I don't even really sweat that much. Like I don't even need to be sweating to smell bad. But when I'm using regular deodorant, I smell good and it's fine. But if it's a natural deodorant, it's just like, it doesn't do anything for me. I'm like, mm, okay. So yeah, I saw an ad for this and it had really good reviews. So I was like, oh, let me give it a shot. It's pretty pricey. It was like around $20, but I thought, mm, why not just give it a shot and see? So the brand is Salt and Stone. And what intrigued me too was that they have a lot of different scents that are like much more unique. Like they remind me more of candles I would get in my home or like a perfume. I feel like most deodorants just kind of come in the same type of standard scents. This one is in the scent Santal and Vetiver. The girl in the ad really sold me. She was like, oh my God, it smells so good. Everybody's always telling me I smell amazing and it lasts so long, da da da. And I've only had it for a day now, but I have to say, so far I am impressed. And I really put it to the test because I wore it yesterday when I went outside on a hike and it was so hot out. I was dripping in sweat. And I came home and I smelled my pits and they still smelled amazing. And like, even as I was walking and sweating, I could like just smell the scent coming off of me. So I was like, okay. If I end up changing my mind and don't end up liking this, I'll update you guys and let you know. But so far I am really enjoying it. And then I just put on my Tassier Ambry Saffron as always, you know, you know what it is. Um, okay, I have to go take Benny out for a quick walk and then I'm gonna head to the salon. This is gonna be my outfit for the day because I am planning on going straight to the gym after work. I'm hoping with just two clients, I won't feel too tired <laughs> by the end of the day to go work out I, and I figure being already dressed and ready to go I can literally just go straight there and I won't even be able to talk myself out of it so I'm wearing this matching set from Amazon and then this shacket don't know the brand I bought it in the boutique in Gettysburg a few years ago and then my New Balance 530s I'm gonna wear those so yeah my plan is after work 
go to the gym, then I'm going to come back here, get ready, um, maybe film a video while I'm getting ready. And then I have dinner plans with my friends. We're going to go to the seafood restaurant that I've never been to before, but I've heard great things and I'm excited. I think it'll be good for me, like I said, to just like keep busy today and just keep surrounding myself with people to like get my mind off of feeling down. So that's the plan for today. Like I said, I'm gonna take Benny out really quick and then I will see you at the salon. So this is what my client's hair looked like when she had first came to me a few weeks ago. Like I mentioned, she had been using permanent box color to cover her gray roots every few weeks. I did a full head of foils to get her as blonde as possible just in that first session. This is what her hair looked like after that first appointment. And then this was her hair today when she came in for her second session. So you can see she's a lot lighter all over than she was originally, but you can still kind of see that area of demarcation where her grays are growing in. So the goal this appointment was to get her even lighter and brighter so that way the grays would really just blend right in with the rest of her hair. So I did pretty much the same thing I did the first appointment, just a full head of really, really heavy foiling. And sorry, I know that this angle sucks and you can't really see what I'm doing, but I was just doing a bunch of like traditional highlights. I was kind of mixing it up, doing like smaller baby lights with just like regular sized highlights. And then I tipped out all of the ends so that way I wasn't leaving any hair out. And then I thought it would be fun to kind of share a little more behind the scenes stuff. So while her hair was processing, I went to the color room in the back and I cleaned my bowls. I love when I don't have to rush and I have time to clean as I go. And I also had time to use the bathroom, <laughs> eat a little snack, drink some coffee, go on my phone a little bit. It's nice to be able to like sit and take a little break while my clients are processing. Then when she was done processing, I rinsed her foils out, shampooed her, did a little conditioner, and then for my toner, I decided to do a little bit of a slight root tap just to really make sure that root area was as soft and blended as possible and that way it would grow out really softly. So the root tap shade I did was 6T and then for her all over gloss, I did 9V. 10 VV, 10 P, and a little bit of 10 T, so that it would be nice and cool and icy and ashy and really blend in with that gray as much as possible. Because of how thick her hair is, this appointment took three and a half hours to complete, but as you can see, we were able to get her to her final goal, and now you really can't even tell where the grays are. It really just blends so seamlessly into the rest of it. I was so happy with the outcome. And then this was my second client. I just did a highlight touch up on her. This humidity is insane. God bless having a new car that cools down very quickly. This lighting sucks, but today went really well. Of course, oh my God, I forgot to get a clip of my last client <laughs> i was literally curling her hair and i was telling myself like don't forget get a clip get some after pictures her hair looked so beautiful i mean i didn't do anything different i was just touching up her highlights i've been doing her hair for a few months now and i just completely forgot and it's a shame because i styled it too like it was photo ready but i i don't know that always happens by the time i get to the end of the appointment i'm just so focused on like okay bring them up to the front get them checked out, reschedule them, clean up. I just go into like autopilot and I completely forget sometimes to get photos. But yeah, everything went really well. My first client has so much hair. I was literally foiling her for two hours, but it came out so beautiful and she was really happy and we finally got to her goal. So 
from here on, she's just gonna come in to get highlights like a few times a year. Her life is gonna be a lot easier now that she doesn't have to be covering the grays. Cause she said that her grays would start to show after just like two weeks and she was having to cover them like every three to four weeks. But I'm gonna go get gas now and then go home. I'm gonna go work out in my apartment gym. I'll catch up with you later. It's several hours later. I just finished getting ready and I filmed a little get ready with me Q&A video while I did that. So here is the aftermath of that. But I am very proud of myself. I went to the gym. I had a really good workout and I was able to get ready and film and everything. And I am on time. I thought I would be running late but our dinner reservations at 8 i wanted to leave here around 7 30 and it is 7 25 so i'm doing pretty good i just need to put on some shoes the only thing that's kind of unfortunate is this dress wrinkles very easily <laughs> there were no wrinkles in it when i first put it on but just from like sitting and moving around it got a little bit wrinkled but whatever i'm not gonna bother steaming it or anything because I'm literally gonna go sit in the car and it's gonna get wrinkled again. <laughs> but this is what I'm wearing. This dress is from Target. I just got it recently. I showed this a few vlogs ago in my Target haul. My first time wearing it. I have to say though, it ties on the back and that's what like cinches this top part in. But it's very hard to reach and to get a tight tie um by yourself <laughs> and obviously i don't have anyone here to help me so trying to tie that was interesting especially because i did an upper body workout at the gym earlier and my arms feel like jello so like trying to stretch i literally worked up a sweat just trying to do that and then i'm wearing my doc martens um i think oh these are the blair blair sandals Oh, an update on the deodorant. After my workout, I gave my pits a little sniff and they smelled amazing. So after working all day and working out and sweating and taking Benny out for a walk, it's like almost 100 freaking degrees outside. Yeah, I did not stink. So that's exciting. Obviously, I'm going to like continue wearing it and I feel like I need to test it a little bit longer before I can say like oh this is my favorite deodorant my new go-to but um so far very promising I must say okay I'm ready and it's 7 30 on the dot so perfect timing they tell you about their bodies I'm home I got my Nivea cream on. I've shared this a bunch of times, but in case you missed it, the old school Nivea cream in the blue jar. That has been my skincare routine for the last year or so. I used to have a really in-depth, multi-step skincare routine, but for a very long time now, I've just been cleansing and then I put a thick layer of that cream on my face and I just let it sit. And then as it starts to absorb, I just rub it in and I'm telling you my skin has never been better. But dinner was so nice. It was really good to catch up with my friends and the food was amazing. It was like a nicer, fancier kind of restaurant and i got this like seafood pasta that had lobster and shrimp in it it was so good oh my god it was seriously so so good and it was like the perfect portion size yeah and then i just came straight home did my skincare got my pajamas now it's 11 30 and i am in bed i'm about to watch and just like that stopped it at the perfect time aiden and his tidy whities but I don't know, I just wanted to pull out the camera because like 
these are the moments that I want to document and remember in the future. My love life has just been in like a weird, confusing, complicated state for a while now. When I'm around couples, I am kind of like, oh, it would be so nice to have that. Just being on my own by myself, like, I don't know. It can feel lonely sometimes, but the comfort that I feel in just coming home to my little apartment and my dog and just getting in comfy pajamas, getting in my comfy bed with clean sheets and just, you know, doing my skincare routine and just relaxing and watching a show that I enjoy, it feels really good. And it's just making me realize even more because I know I say this a lot but I'm really feeling it tonight I really do love this time in my life and even though yes there are times when I feel lonely and it can be hard and sometimes I wish so desperately that I had the support of a partner or I had someone here that lived with me that could help me <coughs> with things even just like household chores and whatnot and like the physical intimacy and you know all of like the positive things that come with being in a relationship but I really do just enjoy being on my own and I don't know what the future holds I don't know if I will end up getting with someone and being married and you know like I I don't know how long I will be on my own like this for it might be much longer it might not I don't know so I just want to really like appreciate this time while I can and make the most of it and like rather than focusing on the bad times and like the negatives and the lonely feelings and like that kind of stuff I really just want to like bask in the parts that I love and tonight like right now I just feel so at peace anyway <coughs> I'm gonna go watch Aiden in his tidy whities and I'll see you tomorrow hello hello it's the next day it is almost one in the afternoon I literally slept for 12 hours last night and I don't even feel bad or guilty or embarrassed about it sometimes i feel like my body just needs it and this week i actually also started a new workout program and i've like still been continuing to work out throughout the summer but i haven't been like as strict and as consistent and with all of like the traveling and stuff i've been doing and i've had a lot of people like come stay with me and stuff so i've missed like a week here a week there but even though I'm still not done with the traveling I really have been trying to like kick it into high gear a little bit because I feel like I was starting to kind of fall off a little but because of that my whole body has felt so sore and yeah I just I needed the extra rest but I feel really good now I'm still like a little bit sore but I feel good like I gave my body the rest and recovery that it needed and I had some breakfast and my coffee and I was just kind of like taking it easy watching some YouTube videos but now I am ready to finally start my day and get a few things done I need to clean up this crazy mess my kitchen is so chaotic right now and then I'm gonna be recording a new podcast episode with Julia at some time today I texted her a little while ago I haven't heard from her yet so I don't know what time we're gonna do that and then I'm gonna go to the gym and I have a video that I want to edit and post so that's what I have on the agenda for today. I am leaving this Friday. I'm going down to Miami and then me and my friends are going on a cruise for a little over a week. Then I'm gonna fly back here. I'll be home for one day and then me and my friend are going to Charlotte because I was invited on a brand trip. So we're gonna be there for a couple nights. So I'm going to 
be traveling and be gone for about two weeks. So I really just have these next few days to get everything done that I need to do, which isn't too much, but I always like before I leave for a trip, I always like to make sure that I have everything taken care of, like everything checked off my to-do list, that my place is nice and clean. So that way when I get home, it's not chaotic and overwhelming. And then I just need to get a lot of editing done because I have some stuff pre-recorded. I just want to edit it and like schedule it out ahead of time. So that way I can still post because the podcast goes up every Friday and I want to still keep that going. And then I want to at least have like one video go up on this channel while I'm gone too. Because I could bring my laptop with me on the cruise, but I also don't really know like how good the Wi-Fi is going to be and am I going to even want to be working while I'm on the cruise? Probably not. <laughs> so I'd rather try to get as much done before I leave so that way I can just like fully enjoy my vacation. So yeah, just gotta get some prepping done these next few days, but we're gonna start with today by cleaning up this kitchen. And I have a couple of Crime Weekly episodes to catch up on, so I'm gonna play those while I clean. That is my usual routine. It makes me actually look forward to cleaning. I'm gonna prop you up right here, and let's get the time lapse going. Several hours later, I got all my cleaning done. My camera ended up running out of space on the SD card and I was just like too in the zone to clear it and all of that. So I didn't get footage of everything, but I completely cleaned up the kitchen, deep cleaned everything, cleaned the living room, vacuumed, bedroom is all clean. I still need to deep clean the bathroom, but I will get to that on a different day. <laughs> Just wasn't feeling it today. And we did not end up recording the podcast. Um, Julia ended up texting me a couple hours later and she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot we were supposed to do that. She had made other plans. So we rescheduled for tomorrow, which is fine because I wasn't really in the mood to do it anyway. And then I got some editing done. Still need to finish that. I got like a third of the way through one video. And then I went to the gym. I just walked on the treadmill to just get some steps in. So I literally was just walking for an hour watching YouTube videos. And now I am making dinner. I'm just doing one of my go-to super quick easy meals. Got some jasmine rice asparagus and then i am cooking salmon in the air fryer it's so easy and quick it takes like two seconds to prep and then 20 minutes for everything to cook and it's good and healthy and yeah and i'm making a lot so that way i'll have leftovers for tomorrow i'm trying to consolidate what groceries i already have because since i'm going away in a few days i don't want to go grocery shopping if i don't have to because i don't want anything to end up going bad if I can't finish it in time. But 
I went to the store recently, so I think I should be good. I am gonna eat soon. Everything should be done in about 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna hop in the shower, finish editing a little bit more, and just have a chill night. And in the morning, I have a nail appointment. I'm so excited. It's been four weeks. I normally go every three weeks to get them redone, but uh, I wanted them to be fresh for my vacation. So I stretched it to four, and they are super grown out and so long. And I just can't wait to cut them down and do a different color. I'm, I love the neon, but I'm kind of over it and I just want to do something neutral. I guess I will see you in the morning. This is the worst angle ever. Oh my God. I am on my way to the nail salon. I literally got up and got ready in five minutes. I just like kept hitting snooze on my alarm and I just did not feel like getting up. So I waited till the last possible minute and then I jumped out of bed, brushed my teeth, washed my face super fast, threw on some bike shorts and a baggy t-shirt. Hair is in a really stupid looking bun. I'll fix that when I get there, but I'm trying to decide. I know I definitely want to do some type of white, but I don't know if I want to do just like a solid bright white or if I want to do a milky, like Funny Bunny by OPI kind of white, or do I want to do one of those two options with chrome on top? I don't know, we'll see. I'll show you when they're done. Here's my nails. So I actually found a color that was perfect. It was like the perfect mix of everything that I wanted. It's called Wedding Veil by DND. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's like the perfect color for what I wanted because it's a little bit more on the milky side, but it's more opaque than Funny Bunny, but it has like almost a slight pearlescent finish. So depending on the lighting, it almost looks like there's a little bit of chrome on them. And then in some lighting, I feel like it looks more like a sheer milky white. And then in other lighting, it looks more like just a regular opaque white. So... I love it. I'm very happy and I'm super happy with the shape and the length. This is like my perfect length. This is my comfort zone because they were starting to get so long to the point where I couldn't even text. Like <laughs> they were very annoying. And for the shape, I just ask for something kind of in between almond and oval. And these are my real nails. Like I don't get tips on them, but I get the hard structured gel on top of my natural nails so it works kind of like acrylic same kind of thing um so it keeps my nails nice and hard and strong so that way they don't break or like peel and then i get a gel color on top that is what i get i'm going to make myself some breakfast and finally have coffee because like i said i just hopped out of bed and i rushed over there so I feel like I haven't even had a chance to like fully wake up yet. And then today I just have a lot of editing to do. I have two videos that I need to edit. And then tonight we are recording the podcast and then I'm gonna go work out at some point, but that's kind of it. I don't have too, too much to do today. So it should be a pretty chill day, but I'll catch up with you later. Also, I put these sunglasses on my head and now the nose piece is stuck in my hair so <laughs> love that also side note at the nail salon she had the show on in the background and i had seen the previews for it on netflix it's a new show and i was really intrigued so while i have my breakfast i'm gonna watch the first episode of it it is currently about 4 30 i have been on my computer working for the past six hours now and I am clocking out for the day as far as editing and that kind of stuff goes. I'm feeling good about where I'm at like work wise this week because like I said I'm trying to get ahead so I can have stuff like pre-recorded and ready to go while I'm on my vacation and Julia is supposed to be calling me around seven for us to record the podcast. So 
I needed to like finally just step away from my computer because I'm starting to feel like a zombie and I am gonna go work out even though to be honest I don't really feel like it I probably should have just went earlier and got it over with because now that I've just been sitting at my computer I'm like I'm feeling kind of lazy but I know once I start moving I'll feel good and what has been helping me stay consistent is I just tell myself even if I don't feel like going I don't even I don't even focus on that it doesn't matter what I feel like I'm just gonna force myself to go anyway and then once I'm there I usually will like get into it and then even if I don't like even if I'm still not feeling it and I don't end up having the best workout ever it's better to at least show up and do something than sit around and do nothing at all and more times than not like I said once I'm there I do end up getting a good workout anyway so I'm gonna make my water I got my Bluetooth headphones from Amazon as always, I can't imagine going to the gym without headphones. <laughs> and I have been using the Believe app by Kim French. I found her on Instagram and I really, really like her app. So I'm currently doing her build and burn program. I'm on phase one, week two. So today I'm doing the glutes focused workout. That's the other thing that helps a lot too, like actually having a program or a routine to follow rather than just like going to the gym and just kind of messing around and doing whatever I feel like. Because if I am not feeling super motivated, I'll end up just being lazy and not really getting the best workout. But if I'm following something, I'll be like, ugh, I really don't feel like doing this. But I'm gonna just force myself to do it anyway and like get through it and I I just feel like my workouts end up being better and it's like easier for me to track my progress that way too if I'm doing something consistent and in this app you can like track your weight and reps and all of that which is nice and then she also offers alternatives so say one of the exercises on there you can't do either because of like injury purposes or you just don't feel comfortable doing that exercise or you don't have the right equipment for it. There's other things you can swap it out for. And then she has videos of each thing demonstrating how to do the movement in case you aren't sure. So it's a very good app not sponsored or anything i will link her instagram in the description but honestly there's so many fitness influencers nowadays so if you don't really know where to start there's like so many free resources and you can definitely just find people on instagram and watch their videos and stuff but yeah this is what i'm gonna go do and then i'm gonna come back shower film the podcast have dinner and that's gonna be it. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I am currently making a little bit of a late breakfast. It's around 11.30. I've been up for a few hours, but I just wasn't super hungry when I got up and I was just on my computer, kinda switching back and forth between work things and then doing some online window shopping. But I was like, okay, it's, time for me to get off this couch and finally get the day started and i was really craving pancakes like since yesterday so i am making some protein pancakes these are the ones that i have been getting for a while now the trader joe's brand buttermilk protein pancake mix and they don't have like a gross protein kind of taste or like a weird aftertaste or anything and you just mix them with water so it's super easy and then i like to add a little bit of cinnamon and some almond extract to them to make them taste even better so i'm gonna have that with some chicken breakfast sausage very high protein meal but today i'm gonna be home the whole day there's nothing i need to do like outside of the apartment so 
just going to be getting more work done. I have to edit that podcast episode that we recorded last night, do some laundry because my hamper is overflowing at the moment. So yeah, just wanted to check in and say good morning. It's a few hours later. It's 540. I went to the gym. I've been kind of doing laundry a little bit. Actually, I just realized now it's quiet, meaning it's done. So I have to take stuff out of the dryer, put the stuff in the wash in the dryer. And then once everything's done, I have to, you know, fold it and put it all away. But I've been doing that, been getting computer work done, but now I'm starting to get kind of hungry. So I am going to start making dinner. I have ground turkey, so I am gonna do some ground turkey meatballs, and then I'm just gonna make some rice on the side. I don't have any vegetables, but like I said, I'm leaving a couple days for my trip, so I'm not gonna bother grocery shopping and buying anything else. I'm just going to use up what I already have, so that's what we're gonna do. Super easy, I just take a pound of ground turkey, add an egg some italian style breadcrumbs i just eyeball it and then i add some grated parmesan cheese and then i add some minced garlic you can add fresh garlic if you want to i'm really not in the mood to chop some up right now though so minced in the jar it is and then I just add a bunch of seasonings, salt, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning, which is already on the breadcrumbs, but I like to just add a little more. Why not? And then I like mine to have a little bit of a kick. So I'm going to add cayenne pepper and paprika as well. Obviously, that's optional. You can season them however you want, whatever you like in them. This is literally one of those recipes, like, it's just meat, you know? Like, you can't really do it wrong. It's all just personal preference. And then I put gloves on because I hate the feeling of the cold meat and everything on my bare hands. And when it gets caught, like, under my fingernails, oh my god, so disgusting. So I put on some gloves, and then I literally mash it up with my hands and combine everything together and then i'm gonna roll them into balls and then i normally will bake them in the oven at like 350 for about uh, 20 minutes or so depending on the size of them but today i'm gonna cook them in a pan. Oh, by the way, I finished that show, Painkiller. There weren't that many episodes. There's only the one season, but such a good show. I highly recommend giving it a watch if you are looking for something new. And Hulu had did a show, Dope Sick, that came out like a year or two ago. And I haven't watched it, but supposedly it's about the same thing. So I kind of want to watch that now too anyway now i have my meat mixture ready to go i'm going to add some water in this pot for my rice and i want to do a chicken rice just so that way it's not too plain so i'm going to use these chicken bouillon cubes that in the pot i'm gonna let that boil and then once it's boiling i'm gonna add in my rice cook that on low for about 20 minutes dinner was so good i have the dishwasher running now i just took benny out for his last walk it's eight o'clock so I am going to fold all this laundry that I washed today, put it away, and then hop in the shower and get ready for bed. And I'm going to wrap up this vlog here because I think it's long enough. And honestly, 
I'm not going to be doing anything exciting over these next few days. It's just going to be more of what you've been seeing. <laughs> just more editing, working out, cleaning, and, you know, prepping, packing. That is it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you when I get back from my trip. Bye.